the nightcap with Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco. Shannon Sharp got a little mad at Ocho Cinco because he was late doing Ocho Cinco s things in terms of catching rides with with fans. Yeah, from the airport to the hotel to set up for the podcast. So apparently he's late all the time, mm-hmm. and um, Shannon Sharp got a little uh, got a little testy with him. Mm-hmm. We can we can play this. I, though. Did, I didn't yeah. do a. Um, you got to go back. Yeah, a little I bit. listened to this earlier. <laughs> you look like you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, here we go, you guys, and so it begins. Nightcap, you are officially on the clock now. Last night on Nightcap with Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco, Shannon Sharp decided he wanted to break the fifth wall and confront Ocho Cinco about coming in late. Now, if you guys do not follow Ocho Cinco, most times when he flies into a new city, if you follow him on Twitter, he always tweets saying, "Hey, I'm going to be landing in this city at this time. Who can pick me up?" Now, Ocho usually pays the person as well, but it's kind of risky if you're a celebrity. Some fans can be weird. You can be kidnapped. You can possibly die But Ocho does not care He loves to interact with people With his fans And he also hates having car service Last night Ocho had a fan pick him up And the fan actually forgot his key in the car So they had to call a tow truck To get it open Ocho was late for nightcap taping, and Shannon Sharp was not happy with it. Here's what he said. As soon as he opened the car door and he got out the car door to greet me, the car door locked by accident. The car door locked by accident. So I would have been on time, but the fact that we had to wait for the tow truck and them to bring the Slim Jim was the reason for my delay in getting to the hotel a little late. But I'm here now. I'm here now. Let me ask you a question. So when you go uh, uh when you go to ESPN you go you take you have people pick you up from the airport? Yeah, 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 yeah. No you don't. Uh when you do inside the NFL, you have people pick you up from uh, the airport? yeah, at the beginning, yeah. No you don't. Uh <laughs> so I just try to figure out why with your show would you choose to take that route when you don't take that route for ESPN and inside the NFL? I wasn't lying. I'm dead, I'm dead serious. When I when uh, I fly into Philly, I had somebody pick me up from Philly. When I fly into New York, I had somebody pick me up from New York. I'm de- I'm, I'm serious. And back, hold that on. ain't what they told me. I just I just talked to you. Hold on, listen to travel. me. Now it's documented, huh? It's documented. <laughs> I, I'm just telling you. But all you I'm have to do is just search my tweets. I've been doing it the past 15 years. I always do this. I'm not saying that. Yes, sir. Talk but to o- me now. Ocho. Right. Again. Ocho, this right, is part right, of your right, show. Right. Right. Why would you be late? Why would you run the risk of being well, late? I didn't want to be late. I just told me what happened. I would have been on time. But due to unfortunate circumstances <laughs> of him locking the keys in his car, which I documented, I was just a little late. I went. Why don't you, Ocho, why don't you just, why don't you just have the people that you're working for just have them to book I don't like your car, car service. service? I don't like car service. It's okay. I don't like how them people, they, 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 be, they be mean and they be bougie. I don't like, you know, they be in suits and ties and shit. I, that don't make me comfortable. That don't make me comfortable. What makes me comfortable is like, okay. like being able to, to, to sit down and talk. Wait, you want to be comfortable? Me, me, or you want to be professional? No, I don't want to. No, I want to be comfortable. I want to talk to people that I can relate to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a, But you, but see, here's the thing, Ocho. You say you want to be professional. You want to do ESPN. You want to do all these professional things, but you want to take a bootleg. No, ride. no, no. I want to. Re, I want to remain my authentic self, the same way I always been, and do those things. Is that okay? Okay. No. Okay. Let me know how that work out for you. Colorado Good lost boss. in the... Now, that's what I'm talking about right like there. And then there was That's a, why niggas ain't getting 80 plus million dollar deals. And Shit then like there that. was another part where Ocho was just like, well, hey, man, we got two different ways of doing things, man. You got your way, I got mine. But then when that, but when, <laughs> but when somebody get a deal for 100 million, they're going to be like, how come we not getting them deals? Uh, yeah. They're yeah. dealing with mm-hmm. this type of shit. Dealing with this shit. That's what hey, happens. That's true. Ocho, dude, he, he does kind of seem like the nigga that's good at shifting blame. <laughs> like, nothing, <laughs> yeah. nothing is ever my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was the way to... And due to us unfortunate circumstances, I was like, yeah, this nigga is crazy. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm and, documented. And just describing uh-huh. like... It's documented, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely get what Shannon was saying. It's like, man... At this level, you you supposed to be professional. You feel me, like? Yeah. Because you wouldn't do that for ESPN. 
Yeah. He was probably he, in the car. He, ESPN yeah. wouldn't allow it because they already have the car there. He was in the car with that nigga like, yo, where you going? Like, nowhere important, man. I'm just about to go talk and, to and honestly, silly And basically, nigga. that was Shane's way of saying, like, what do you do with them white people? Pretty much. You don't much. do them white people like That's that. That's all he was asking. You ain't late when them white people call you. That's a whole fact. But you late to your shit. Yeah. You late with me. And realistically, you could have just called an Uber after that even. Like you didn't have to wait for the you tow truck to arrive. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could have done to because still make that it. didn't work out. It should have triggered. It should, the Uber. Yeah, it should have triggered. Yeah. Like, hey, yo, I got yo, like, why was Ocho scratching his head like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. And Ocho is old enough to know like if you want something done right, just do it yourself. Yeah, like. Grant, he could have locked his cars in his own. No, no, no. This is a random car. fan that came to pick him up. Yeah, I know. So oh, it's like yeah. he should have just like did it on his own. Called an Uber. Oh, oh, yeah, called, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know a side chick he has in the city or something, whatever. And then being a little late, I can understand a nigga's uh, anger and frustration because their show is live. Yeah. So like. It's real different from like we'll start late, but nigga, the, the premiere is scheduled for seven o'clock yeah. on a Tuesday. Yeah, I, I'm not there at seven on the dot pressing that fucking button. That exactly. shit's gonna go there whether we're there or not. It's automatic. So like being live is important as hell, and being on time, and um, yeah, that shit was funny as fuck, man. I don't know. And uh, it is. But watch the full thing. Like, at what point in bro, the pod did this take place? Was this the very beginning? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I'm about to say, you know, what, what but you it think is the energy was after that shit. Man? Yeah, you see, he spun right into the Colorado and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, but but also, um, this nigga Shannon Sharp is a busy nigga, bro. Yeah, this nigga's a busy, bro. He's busy, yeah, bro. He's exactly. He got a lot of shit going on. He's Chad broadcasting late, all day. Chat being late makes Shannon late for something. But probably bad. It, it bro. fucks up. Yeah. It I'm fucks ar- up his holes. I'm already getting four hours a night. Now I'm getting three hours and, and a 15. Half maybe. Three yeah. and a half. You like, what, nigga? Like, yeah. F, when you're moving on them tight ass schedules, yeah. this nigga's broadcasting damn near 24 hours a day. It seems yeah. like, you know what I mean? Especially when you're too rich to be doing shit this stupid. I don't like, even have to do this. Why are you late? I don't have to do this. <laughs> because you paid a random fan $500 to take you. I don't nigga. think nobody should be that real. Oh, get a ride Wouldn't shit. you be worried about like getting at, set up? Like, do you think yeah. it is a pretty risky? Do you think he's riding with a crew with security? It's pretty shit? risky. Like, make sure no. you got a minivan for my niggas and shit. Too. He probably has his location on to his daughter. But I think he has that aura. Too. Enough. Enough. Do he I think make. he has that aura too. You know, like there's some celebrities who like have been out long enough. There's not a list of enemies that Ocho yeah. said. Like Ocho doesn't have hate campaigns no. rallied after him online. Most of the time, it's something. It's funny that we're enjoying them. It's it's pretty much mostly positive because we enjoy that nigga. It's like Lil B. Lil B, uh, he, he, Stevie, he, he even still got attacked. But it's why J. Cole can bike in New York City. Right, right. Yeah. And, yeah. Or even in Raleigh, he can go to Lifetime Fitness. It's yeah. like... Uh, yeah, because he, because yeah. he has that. He's the type of person where, like, if somebody gets <clears throat> buck with him, niggas is like, yo, what's up with you, nigga? You know, like... Nah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's definitely safe from hate yeah, crimes I think, and shit like that, but he's nobody's safe from getting robbed. Yeah, nobody's safe from getting He's yeah. not safe from being rich amongst poor niggas. But he also <laughs> but he also is like brags about how he don't roll around with cash, Cuba's Zirconium, fake jewelry. Like he's that nigga still too though. Niggas will steal that fake niggas, ass yeah, watch. Niggas still something. Niggas will steal it because it's got Chad's sweat on it. It's it's better than a real watch now, nigga. Yeah. Well also, um I keep forgetting what I was about to say. I hope this show um doesn't tragically end though, <laughs> because of this. I, oh, sure. like, and, yeah, I hope this isn't the catalyst for something bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what I was gonna say was because a lot of people care about this show. Like I said, mm-hmm. I don't watch full episodes. I'll watch clips or Instagram or whatever. But every time I see that they're live on YouTube, nigga, it'd be like thirteen thousand people in there. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like niggas are locked in to yeah. that show, and it's like Monday through Friday, bro. They be on there 10, 15, 20,000 sometimes, like. It'd be a lot of people really watching that show live. 